at Baltimore, Maryland, they're trying out a new plane and trying to prove that wings aren't always necessary to flight, no matter what any bird might say. This one hasn't any wings, but watch her graceful landing. The new machine is square-built, but with a new idea in streamlining that is claimed to play the deuce with wind resistance. Inventor Nelson Edwards, the inventor in flying kit, shows off the child of his own imaginings. His dream is now realized, and the new wingless wonder is ready to go into production on a large scale if it passes its tests with flying colors. And there she goes, winging into space without wings. A plane that can take off from your back garden. In Maryland, inventor Willard Custer displays a model of his revolutionary channel wing plane. These strange wind tunnels, which replace the wings, raise the plane up just like a hurricane lifts the roof off a barn. Custer's first experimental model looks like something the Wright brothers might have built. It has no wings, flaps, brakes or slots. Even the fuselage is only a skeleton. But it takes off in just a few feet, upwind, downwind or crosswind. Inventor Custer claims that his simple plane can be manufactured at around 200 pounds, half the price of a 10-horsepower car. Custer's baby today may become the family baby of tomorrow. A new idea in plane design from America completely does away with normal wings. Instead, it has short stubs which are used only for landing and takeoff. During its actual flight, and it really can fly, the plane relies on its flat, square-shaped fuselage. Inventor Bill Horton, who calls his plane the Horton Wingless, says the vertical fins on the edge of the fuselage give added lift. Horton claims that bigger models of his wingless wonder could be developed to carry 4,000 passengers at a time. 